Ukraine Live Briefing Kiev dismisses seven senior defense officials. Zelensky will address Ukrainian Deputy Defense Minister Hanna Malir at the UN Congress in June. Listen 4 minutes share the Ukrainian cabinet has dismissed Deputy Defense Minister Hanna Malir and six other senior officials in the Ministry of Defense. According to an update shared on Telegram on Monday, the announcement comes after President Volodymyr Zelensky fired Defense Chief Alexei Reznikov this month as the ministry grappled with allegations of corruption. Zelensky is expected to lobby for more support for Ukraine while speaking at the United Nations General Assembly meetings, which begin on Tuesday in New York. Important developments Malir was fired two weeks after Zelensky announced that his former boss, Reznikov, would be replaced. In addition to State Minister Kostyantin Vashenko, five deputy defense ministers were also dismissed. No reason was given for the dismissals in the statement. Zelensky is expected to hold talks with other world leaders before delivering his message to Washington during the UN General Assembly meetings this week. He is tentatively expected to visit Capitol Hill on Thursday. The Washington Post reported, a damaged drone carrying explosives was found Sunday in the Bulgarian Black Sea resort of Tyulanovo. The Sofia government said on Monday, Bulgarian Defense Minister Todor Tagarev told reporters that it can certainly be assumed that the weapon was related to the war in Ukraine. According to ministry's statement, an expert team was sent to the scene on Monday and disabled device. Battlefield updates Ukrainian Air Force announced that 17 cruise missiles fired by Russian aircraft during the night were shot down over central and western Ukraine. According to an update posted on Telegram on Monday, Moscow also launched 24 Iranian-made Shahed drones. 18 of these were claimed to have been successfully captured by Ukraine. The post was unable to independently verify the allegations. Two people were killed in Russia's attacks Ukraine's Kherson region. Regional Governor Alexander Prokudin said in a statement on Telegram Monday. He said the area was under fire all night from Russian drones and shelling. Ukrainian forces hope that recapturing the village Klishchivka will put them in a position to take control of the nearby eastern city Bakhmut. We managed to gain a foothold for ourselves that would allow us to further develop offensive actions and liberate our territory from the invaders. Spokesman Ilya Yevlosh told the TSN News Network. The recapture Klishchivka could be a significant development for Ukraine's prospects in the east. Here, Russian forces took control of the city Bakhmut, which was destroyed this year after months bloody fighting. Explosions were reported in the center of the Russian-occupied city of Donetsk on Monday. Local media reported, Denis Pushilin, leader of occupied Donetsk in eastern Ukraine, said no casualties were reported. V.